Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to the Dark Eye Chains of Satanov. When we last left off, we ended up in Neri's fairy realm. Basically, we kind of deserved it, but kind of not. I mean, we lied to her this whole time, and she pushed me into the fairy portal, or the fairy gate, if you want to call it that. And now, here we are, with all these little lights, kind of odd-looking. It's like they're little creatures, or uh, not creatures, people. And we have this little guy right here. He's the eye creature. He's the guy that we uh, had to basically defeat to get into this area. Ah, I see. Interesting. So that's where he sat. And then that's how his eye looked huge. Okay. And he was the one that was petrifying everybody. His eye, his gaze uh, petrified those that came in and saw his gaze. <clears throat> and looks like there's the... Uh, when we broke the lens, that's what we broke. So let's actually take a look at this strange contraption. The creature did indeed look through here out into the swamp, and everything it faced was turned into stone. There you go. There's a nice little summation of what I just said. Let's see if we can fix it for him. I kind of, now that I know that he didn't really mean it, because he told me that, or told Garon that in the last episode, let's fix it for him. I'm glad it's broken. Okay, maybe not. And there's the fairy gate, which is now closed. That's where I fell through. Whatever this is, it's not the way back. I'll have to find the portal in the dream okay, chamber. and that's really ultimately our goal right now. Let's see, is there any... thing we can do with any of these? Oh, well, there's the well. Or a well. Why is this well icy in this heat? Because it's winter, of course. Ah. Aren't you peculiar? Okay, so it's <laughs> warm in winter, I guess. Is there anything? Oh, here's one. Here's one we can interact with. It consists of pure light. Let's see what we can do with it. It's whispering something. I think she's looking for her daughter. Huh. Interesting. Okay, oh, here's just a hundreds of them, maybe thousands. So many figures. Are those the lights of the dead? They whisper like ghosts. Hey! Anyone? Can somebody tell me how to get out of here? Lost? There's always a way. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to this eye creature some more. Let me be. Okay, he is he is done. Uh can we <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so we still have our flintstone and tender tinder and our knife. Can we actually break the ice? It only works with highly fragile okay, objects. Yeah, I guess not. How about lighting it? Not enough tinder to melt so much ice. Alright, I guess our only other option is to go up the stairway. We don't really know where her daughter is, so can't help her out yet. If at all. Okay, and there's a... Hey, you! <clears throat> where, who, who are you? What's your business here? Where do you come from? Talk. Alright. Ah, uh, name. My name is... No, I'd better take you to the Queen immediately. Come along. No, I... Don't give me that. Get moving. Okay. Your Highness, my Queen, free spirit reigning over... free spirits. I found this stranger in the Great Hall. I brought him... Immediately I brought him to your highness, for you alone know what to do. The boy with the night hair? It's all well, guard. He has done good. Night hair? Why are you calling me that? The bird man anticipated the arrival of the night haired, but the all-knowing did not reveal to us 
what fate the young one would bring to Nirutvana. The Birdman. Silence. We did not allow him to speak. Hmm. Why did the almighty Birdman look out for him? He might bring doom, but maybe he brings a new beginning too. What, pray tell, shall we do with him? Imprison him? Banish him? Have him killed? Or grant friendly hospitality? Until we're able to interpret the dreams of the Allwise? Okay, so... Alright. Um... Let's see, let's try and see if she knows how to get back to... Or tell me how to get back to my own world. Please, Your Majesty, just let me go back to my own world. I have to save someone who... Who means a lot to me. That is the fate of one single individual. Our decisions, on the other hand... Determine the fate of a whole world. But she's a fairy like you are. A fairy? In your world? Whoever has left this world is not a fairy anymore. Okay, what does that mean? We allow him to speak. Okay. <laughs> Revolt? You cannot kill me. I don't have time for such things. Besides, I didn't do anything. I can, Night Hare. In order to prevent bad things from happening, he might bring bad luck to us. Hmm, let's revolt. Bad luck. Doom. I can't listen to this anymore. I'm just trying to do the right thing all the time. He is disrespectful. Intent and outcome are not one and the same. He feels attacked. That makes him suspicious. We have to consider many things. Is his arrival good? Or is it bad? The decision has to be made wisely. He shall be allowed to live. For now. Okay, uh, yeah, let me go. Then let me go already, Your Majesty. Back to my world. Impossible! The gate only leads into Nerutfana. Never back. Okay. What about the second gate, the uh, the dream world, uh, chamber one? But the eye creature said there is a second portal in the dream chambers. Did it now? The Okulunculus has got some nerve, rarely controlling its curiosity. It betrays us with its loquaciousness. And he, Night Hare, dares to ask of the forbidden chambers? Your Majesty, I just want to... Silent he shall be. <clears throat> what shall happen with the night air? My dreams are hazy. How shall I decide? An impossible task. Unless... Why not? He shall solve this problem for himself. Yes. Hear ye our decision. The challenge fate has imposed upon him shall be decided through three impossible tasks. If he can overcome them, we shall grant him access to the dream chambers. Impossible tasks? What is that? Silence! If it really is his fate to leave Nerutvana, he will be able to do the impossible. Fate never fails. Okay. What are these tasks? Very well, then. What tasks are those? The three tasks are, he shall bring us an apple from the garden. He shall build a life-size statue of us in all six colors of the rainbow right here. He shall make the statue of the blind birdman look at us. As soon as all those tasks are met, he may access the dream chambers. He may now consider his fate. Okay. So, we have some things to do then to get back into our own world. So it sounds like, again, either... Oh, look at that. Okay, there's the statue of the bird man. So, Neri... Just trying to put this all together. So it sounds like the raven might be, who, if he really is the seer, might be uh, manipulating the queen as well. 
Um, but maybe she's already been bad this whole time. I don't know. But it's kind of made it sound... Uh, Neri made it sound like this world might have been all right once, but not anymore, and that's why she left. But anyway, we have some impossible tasks to accomplish, so let's start with that. Uh, okay, here's a wicker basket. Let's take a look at it. Hilda always let her puppies sleep in a basket like that. All right, we have a basket and a goblet. Empty. Can we take that? Okay, let's take a look at the statue. The fairies shouldn't have listened to this god. The bird god obviously only speaks to the queen, if at all. Oh, well, here's what I'm thinking is that the raven, that's why the seer is acting as a raven, because it looks like they worship a bird god, these particular fairies. And so he took the form of the raven to basically have more manipulation over over the fairies here. Maybe that's why the queen is acting the way she is. Let's uh, head this way first, because I think we came in through that way. Oh, opposite. <laughs> Alright, no problem. We can start here. Alright, here, let's take a look at the seashell. A seashell? Where's the sea that should accompany it? Okay, can we listen to it? The seashell is whispering something. From now on, game and dance, music and magic will be banned throughout the realm. The pictures in the gallery may never again be touched, and the garden is off limits to all as well. Possession of raisins <laughs> is forbidden. Doves that died of thirst do not a tasty meal make for anyone in their right mind. Anyone who disobeys the laws will be banished to the end of the mist. Interesting. Okay, so... Obviously that's just showing the queen's hold on the realm. And there's a peacock. A white turkey with big ears and no eyes. Well. Okay. Interesting that. So, why would he know? Or maybe he didn't know, because Neri for sure knew what a peacock was, but he didn't seem to know. Or apparently he didn't know. Hello. Can you talk? What? I've never heard this voice here before. My name is Geron. I haven't been here for long. Not for long, eh? In that case, you are forgiven. Of course I can talk. I am a peacock. The clock peacock, to be precise. Pavarius is my name. So you are the one calling out the hours? No. My magnificent plumage denotes them. I see. Yes. Did you want anything in particular? Okay. Um, blindness? Don't you have any eyes? Not anymore. I lost them during my training. Well, we all have to make sacrifices in our time, but especially for time itself. Don't you miss your eyes? No, I still have ears. Okay. Uh, clock? So you always know what time it is. And how do you do that? I get my bearings from the wind, of course. The wind always blows from the direction of the sun. Like everyone knows, it rises in the west in the winter and the east in summer. <laughs> okay, interesting. How exactly can you distinguish where the wind is blowing from? Hmm... Well, it would seem like a mystery to someone who didn't undergo the training, wouldn't it? I can tell by the way the hermit sighs. Who? He's sitting right above us. You'll know him by his big nose. Okay. Ah, uh, sleep. Do you always have to stay awake as Clock Peacock? Oh, not at all. I take some rest during winter time in the hour around midnight. Okay. Probably something we should keep in mind. How can you tell if it's summer or winter? Do you count the days? That wouldn't help much. Summer and winter alternate in a very uneven pattern. No, I get my orientation from the water. If I can hear it flowing, it must be summer. Ah, okay. You have magnificent plumage. 
haven't I? That's what my friend the Oculunculus always said too. The eye creature? Yes, we used to be friends, but he hasn't visited me since his last birthday. Uh, Sigh of the Hermit. I'm not sure what this means. Why does the Hermit sigh all the time? <laughs> the wind doesn't bring any good sense anymore. That's disappointing. But basically, for the better, he got distracted too easily. Wherever there was a nice scent, he had to turn his nose to it. That messed up time quite a bit. Okay. Birthday of the eye creature. How long ago was the birthday of your eye creature friend? Oh, quite a while. But it was a beautiful celebration. He always said, you need three things for a good birthday celebration. First, players who provide music with their shiny flutes and glittering harps. Second, well, uh, what was it now? Hmm, I forgot <laughs> the other two. But all that is a thing of the past anyway. The seashells of law forbid it. Although Oculunculus really loved festivities. Okay, let's leave. I better not keep you any longer. So it sounds like we're going to have to do something potentially with the five senses because he can hear, there's a big nose, and there's a big eye, which we already took care of. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Let's go back to the queen's chambers, actually, and... Ask her more about these tasks, because we have no idea where any of these places are. Like the garden, for instance, for that apple. Your Majesty. Has he fulfilled the tasks? No, not even close. What tasks am I supposed to fulfill? He shall bring us an apple from the garden. He shall build a life-size statue of us in all six colors of the rainbow right here. He shall make the statue of the blind birdman look at us. As soon as all those tasks are met, he may access the dream chambers. He should memorize them better this time. Oh, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Tell me about the birdman. The birdman? Does he look like a big black bird? No, but a big night bird was with him when he revealed himself to us. Why is the night herd asking? Oh, nothing okay, important. Okay, so that, yep, that explains what's going on then. Okay. So that explains the raven then, because he was there at the time. What kind of ring is this around the statue's neck? It's a present from the priests to the All-Wise. This ring was supposed to fill his priests with his spirit to enlighten them. Where are the priests now? When the birdman left near Rutvena, they went with him. Okay. Honor our laws. I will. I don't know what ring he's talking about. Hmm. Okay. I guess let's go this way. Okay, so now we are... Oh, here's the ring. Okay. I see. Okay, so this is the statue from a different perspective. And there's the big ring around it, which actually was in uh, our flashback from when the seer was burning. They showed a picture of this. Interesting. Okay. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Next time, we will hopefully solve the impossible tasks, or not, since they are impossible. But either way, I will see you guys next time on The Dark Eye, Chains of Satanav. Until then.